It's been a few weeks since I attended the SEO Mastery Summit in Saigon, where I went to two masterminds, four incredible networking parties, 14 presentations, and met hundreds of incredible connections who are killing it online. I even managed to squeeze in a short trip to Bali, where I met even more incredible people at a conversion collective event. But enough of me, how does this impact you? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the exact pivots that I'm making in my online businesses and how you might want to consider doing the same. But first, I want to make one thing crystal clear. I am in no way saying that affiliate marketing is over, it's not dead, in fact, it's very much alive. But with Google now rewarding authority, forums and large publications over everything else, and with them doubling down on that in the March core update, it's time to consider our next steps, especially if you've been hit. So here's five ways that I'm pivoting either my strategy or my approach, and you'll want to stick around for number five because it still very much involves niche sites. YouTube, TikTok, and video content. Video is something that I've talked about for quite a long time now on this channel, and it's something that certainly is not going away. In fact, I would actually say it's my number one focus. If you're happy and in a position to create video content, there is a huge opportunity there right now. Let's all agree for a second that the SERPs are pretty trash as they are in their current state. The public and even some unrelated high profile figures are also noticing this. If I personally am searching for a review, I need to be able to trust the source. Now, YouTube in particular is perfect for this. Not only does it convey more trust if done well, YouTube videos rank really prominently on page one and they really stand out. This niche site channel of mine has just eight videos and is getting around 180 views every 48 hours. If I scale that up to 80 videos, Without any improvement in view count per video, that will be bringing in around 1,800 views every 48 hours. In the right niche, with the right offers, that could be an incredibly lucrative YouTube channel, an additional traffic source. Rank and Rent. Having met the likes of Rank and Rent OGs, James Dooley and Cole Hudson at a few events recently, including in Saigon, I've decided to go in on the Rank and Rent method. As I understand it, the hard part is going to be building those relationships with those business owners that are going to be renting the websites. So I'm very much going in for a strategy of over delivering in terms of value, maybe even giving away leads for free in the first instance, and then build that relationship with the business owners and then discuss the asset value at a later point. Now I'm building this as part of my eight year old agency. So I do have some advantages in in this in the process already in place but to be honest it's such a low barrier to entry with this that anyone can do it and by the way if there are any of these methods that i'm talking about in this video today that you want me to go into more detail on in future videos drop me a comment down below and if i get enough i'll make sure that we put out some content and go into more detail on those parasite especially medium linkedin and reddit it's no secret that until recently, Reddit Parasite SEO was working really, really effectively. But even though that golden opportunity seems to have passed us by, it does still work a little bit, by the way. But even so, there's still lots of opportunity out there, particularly with the likes of Medium and the likes of LinkedIn. Medium is one that is particularly exciting me right now because it does give you that extra control. And just look at the stats of this Medium publication that attracts commissions of $100 to $150 per sale. This is likely making around 10K per month. As I said, this is a real opportunity and again, pretty low barrier to entry. Diversified traffic, particularly socials and pay-per-click. My four most recently launched affiliate sites are all performing really, really well, but I don't want to rely on that, so I'm diversifying the traffic. I'm mainly focusing on Pinterest and Facebook for social media. We're also doing a little bit of Instagram organic growth, and that's going pretty well too. I'm also testing some pay-per-click ads using Google Ads and running them to existing offers that I know convert really well. Caveat here is that your affiliate programs need to allow you to do this and allow you to bid on the terms that you're bidding on and Google Ads need to allow you to actually promote those types of offers in those particular niches. If they do, there's a great opportunity here, particularly in those high ticket niches. Lifespan of niche sites. 
As I just mentioned, I've started four niche site projects in the last 12 months or just under 12 months. And so far, none of those have been negatively impacted by the helpful content update in September or the March core update that has just finished rolling out. Now, is that because they haven't been tagged or classified as being not helpful yet? And if that is the case, does that mean we have a 12, maybe 18 month window until sites do get tagged as being unhelpful? If that's the case, I'm going to assume on any new project that I start that there's a 12 to 18 month window where I need to get that site to profitability. And in an ideal world, I want to aim for profitability within six months. For me, the easiest way to do this is to work with an age domain. I've launched an age domain project just this week in a really tough YMYL niche. And yes, I've hit the jackpot. We've got page one rankings right from the, the beginning. So this is a strategy that I'm definitely going to be using more and more when I am working with niche sites to hit that profitability as fast as I possibly can. Now, if you do want to keep up to date with that particular project, make sure you are subscribed to my newsletter. Link is in the description down below. And if you can't wait for that and you want to see exactly how I find those age domains, check out this video next where I show you my complete strategy. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.